Hey guys, Ronnie Chavez here. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the cartwheel and cartwheel to side flip. Now before I get into it, I'm not a gymnast. I don't I never went to gymnastics classes growing up, so I probably won't have perfect proper form if you were to ask a gymnast. And the reason I mention that is because in a lot of these types of videos, I get a few comments where people are like, "Ronnie, you're doing this wrong. It doesn't look perfect." And you're right, it's not. I know I'm not perfect at these tricks but I just know the basic techniques to be able to do the trick and how I learned it and then I have my own style it's a you know a more backyard free running style and so if you do want to learn the proper form and technique I recommend you just go to a gymnastics gym and learn from a proper coach but otherwise if you just want to learn it like the way you've seen me do it then that's how I'm going to teach you so let's get started so the cartwheel is a fun trick to incorporate into free running sequences and there's two ways I like to use it. One is as a casual cartwheel, a transitional move where if I'm doing a, a combo of sequences and I just want to add a cartwheel into it to keep my flow going. The other style is a power cartwheel and that's when you want to actually get a trick out of your cartwheel and you can actually do side flips, back flips, back folds, double folds out of cartwheels. It's just a different setup than the traditional round off. So the cartwheel is actually a simple move to learn in theory, but it still pr takes practice to get it down properly, and especially if you want to start getting power out of them to do side flips. So first you're going to want to choose which, which uh, arm and leg you're going to be taking off with. I go off my right leg because my right leg is my strong leg, and my right arm is my strong arm, and that's the first arm I'm going to be planting on the ground. And so the first thing I'm going to be, do, be doing is planting my right arm directly in front of my foot and I'm actually not placing it down in front of me like this it's going to be turned at a 90 degree angle so that as I turn over my hand isn't going to get twisted and then from there I'm going to swing my left hand over to plant right in front of this hand again at a 90 degree angle and then as I'm jumping this leg is going to kick over and this is going to be the leg that I land on my left leg and so all together it goes right hand left hand left leg as I jump off of this leg and ideally as you do this trick you want to be straight up and down so it's almost like you're pushing into a handstand and then falling over onto the other side. A common problem a lot of guys will have learning this trick is they'll be too bent at the waist or their knees will be bent and it'll often look like this and that's where you're not going to be able to get a lot of power out of your cartwheels. So to try and help fix that, you want to really focus on when you're kicking your leg that you lock your legs in and keep them straight and spread out. Because the more spread out they are, the easier it's going to be to get around. So after you have that basic motion down, it's basically just practicing that move over and over until you can whip it faster, keep your body straighter, and it just comes down to practice. And I also recommend that you learn it both ways because it's a, it's a really good exercise for body control if you can do this trick both ways. So as you go into the cartwheel to side flip, make sure you have proper side flips learned first because otherwise the cartwheel can just make it harder to learn proper technique on the side flip because it does feel slightly awkward to go into it. So if you do have a side flip down and you have your cartwheel down, now it's just combining the two to get the most power out of it. So when incorporating power into the cartwheel, you're going to want to do the same technique, but as you take off, you're going to want to whip a lot faster. So you're going to want to kick this back leg harder and keep everything tighter and closer together so it gets you around faster because that momentum of that whip is what's going to transfer into your flip when you do the side flip. When you're coming up from the cartwheel, you don't want to have too much air time because you want to have a lot of momentum that's going to be pushing you into the ground so that you can push away from the ground and turn it into vertical momentum, just like the blocking technique with front, normal front flips or side flips. So from here, I'm going to have all this momentum that's carrying me up like this, and that's where I'm going to throw my arms up and begin to set my chest that direction so that I can flip that direction. But if I'm leaning too far this way as I do it, then I'm not going to be going up. I'm going to be going sideways. And so you want to make sure that you're stopping your momentum from all that speed from the cartwheel to push it upwards. And then you're doing your proper set with the side flip and going into the flip. So now to connect everything together, we're doing the cartwheel, placing right hand, left hand, kicking our left leg over, kicking hard and fast so we get a lot of power. 
And then from there, you're perfectly set up to then throw your arms, jump up, and throw the tuck for the side flip. If you still need to work on your side flip, then feel free to check out my side flip tutorial. You can follow a link to that. But otherwise, just be safe learning this trick. Just like with anything, even if it seems simple, you can still slip or get hurt. And I don't want to hear about guys getting hurt. That's just not fun. And it's always good to avoid serious injuries. So subscribe for more tutorials. But otherwise, thanks for watching.